find 128% of 550. So the first thing we want to do is write our percent as a decimal. 128% is equal to 1.28. And we know that of represents multiplication. So we can multiply 1.28 times 550 to find 128% of 550. Let's multiply. When we multiply, we don't line up the decimals. 8 times 0 gives us 0. 8 times 5 gives us 40. 8 times 5 plus 4 more gives us 44. Add a 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 2 is 10 again, plus 1 more is 11. Now we add two zeros. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 5 is 5. Now we can add. We get 704, and then we have to count how many numbers are after the decimal and bring over our decimal. So we end up with 704. So 128% of 550 is 704. Find 0.3% of 200. So first, we want to rewrite our percent as a decimal, and this would be 0.003 because we move the decimal two places to the left. Of means we multiply times 200. So we have 0.003 times 200. We get 0, 0, 0, 0. Add another 0, and then again zeros. Add two zeros. 3 times 2 gives us 6, and then the rest of the numbers are zeros. Now we can add. So we have one, two, three numbers after the decimal. So we have to move our decimal one, two, three places. We end up with 0 0.6. And remember, you don't need to keep extra zeros behind the decimal. So 0.3% of 200 is 0 0.6.